What is up, guys? Welcome back to another Freaktography Abandoned Church Adventure. I need to come up with a new way to intro my videos. I always say the same thing. But anyways, guys, here we go. What is up, guys? Brand new location. Thanks to my friends So Sincere and DK and Ray for telling me about this one. Abandoned Church, going to be really cool. There's so much bird poop in here. Lots of decay. Definitely has not been used in a very long time. So while I get myself ready, you guys know what to do. Cue the music. Cue the intro. See you guys on the other side. And here we go, guys. We're going to get started right here at the very, very, well, it's the front of the church, but it's the back of the church. So what we got here is the front door of the church. And we head on through, through this door into the sanctuary and have a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Just gorgeous exposed wood beams on the top of the ceiling of the church. You got these gorgeous uh, light fixtures dangling from the ceiling. Just beautiful, right? Now you got a red carpet covered in bird poop and grass and wheat and all kinds of wheat. <laughs> covered in all kinds of stuff. And uh, yeah, there's lots of cobwebs that going in, in between the pews. Every single one of them has cobwebs running across them. We'll take a look up here at this light fixture. And then you've got lots of uh, cracking going on on the walls and peeling paint as we go around. You'll see plaster coming off. Beautiful stained glass windows are all fully intact. This is a pretty remote part of the province where we are right now. So that would mean that would give us the explanation for why it has not been um, vandalized or any sort of problems. So here's a look at the mess from the birds going on in the pews here. Now, I don't know anything about churches or names of styles of church, but what we have here are the, the pews are in kind of like a circular formation from, from that side, then they come around back to this side right here. So they're not, uh, they're not straight pews, they go in a circular formation. And I don't know if there's a name for that because, guys, I am extremely naive and uneducated in general, but especially when it comes to church. Here's a number of uh, Bibles or hymn books just covered in bird poop, guys. There's a couple boxes here, a couple more boxes full of them. Now it is just one room, one room sanctuary with a balcony up there. There's a basement and one back room that we'll go check out. But let's take a look here at the altar. Beautiful, beautiful looking altar with four chairs, sorry, three chairs. Take a look and see what's going on in here. It's just a box, guys, and there's nothing in it. Take a walk on up here. These, kind of, these chairs look pretty comfy. Now it is really, really windy outside. And the, uh, there's a tin roof and there's pieces of tin just flapping off the roof and it's really, really loud. For at least from where I am, it's loud. There you go, nice leather bound holy Bible. Now 
So here's a wide view of the sanctuary from the altar. I'll go from left to right for you. And then there's a, uh, there's a storage room back here. It's, it's a storage room now, but it obviously was not always a storage room. You've got a couch in here. So there's a number of different things going on in, back in this room here. Pretty much just used for storage. Pretty sure there's not going to be any Jimi Hendrix or... Uh, Anything in here like uh, Inagata De Vita, Iron Butterfly, or anything that I would like to listen to. Red curtains on the windows. You can probably hear from here the sound of the, of the roof. just a closet here which is just full of books and boxes. All right, let's take a walk back to the other end of the church. We'll head up to the balcony and then we'll go check out the basement. So get a, get a nice look at the, at the sanctuary and the pews and the light coming in through the stained glass. Light looks beautiful. Take a look from here. All right, so here we're going to take the stairs up to the balcony. And here you go. large round stained glass window there. All the bird poop on this pew just coated on real thick, eh? Isn't that nasty? This now abandoned Baptist church dates back to 1901. Prior to 1901, the local congregation used an old log structure as their meeting place for worship. In the early 1800s, several families immigrated from Scotland, setting sail across the ocean, traveling from their arrival point in Nova Scotia through Quebec, and then they traveled via a schooner to the shores of what eventually would be Southwest Ontario. They constructed the first church or meeting house in 1844 at 40 feet deep and 30 feet wide with a nameplate above the door that revealed the date 1844. This frame is still used to this day to support an implement shed on a local farm. That aging church or meeting house struggled as the congregation grew. In November of 1901, a new brick church was built. It was a red brick structure at 55 feet deep and 36 feet wide with an upper gallery. The interior of this new church was finished in white Georgia pine and the windows stained glass. The pulpit and pulpit furniture were of antique oak upholstered in crimson. The church was heated by a basement furnace. The total cost to build was $4,200.
I've been unable to determine when this church was closed for good, but given the conditions inside, I don't think there's a very bright future for this old abandoned Baptist church. And really, all we have down here, guys, is just uh, some really long banquet tables. And that's really it. There's a small kitchen I'll show you in a minute. Um, and a number of uh, three long tables here. You got a furnace right in the middle there. So we'll head back here into the kitchen area. And a sink here with a water pump. Probably doesn't work. Doesn't work, guys. No water coming out of the pump. And then here is all the, the china. Crazy, right? Just left it all behind. Plates, teacups, cutlery, coffee pots, teapots. a nice one right there and then that's going to wrap it up oh we got uh got a nice big pot here to boil water on top of the stove look at this spider if you can see it it's all moldy so now we'll go over to the other side and we'll head back upstairs from here Got a pair of shoes here somebody left behind. How do they even stay on? <laughs> they don't have tops. Well, guys, that's going to wrap this one up. Short and sweet. Just a small, one-room, rural, abandoned church. Very, very obviously abandoned, given all the bird poop and the mess that's going on inside here. This church hasn't been used in a very long time. So to the not abandoned police, I say thank you for trying, but you have failed once again. Definitely want to say thanks to my friends So Sincere and Decaying Ray for letting me know about this one. I've seen this location before, never knew where it was, and uh, never really tried until they posted some pictures and they were nice enough to share this one with us so that we can come here and enjoy it. Guys, I love exploring an old rural abandoned church and I've got some great pictures. I mean, I think they're great pictures that I took here. There could be a link in the video description down below to go to my website and check out the pictures I took and also follow DKing Ray and So Sincere on their Instagram page. Hey guys, I'm up here. So that wraps this video up. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being here. You guys know what to do. Number one, like the video. Number two, drop me a comment down below. Say anything you want. Number three, if you're able to share this video, share it to your friends and family. And number four, if you've watched my video, if you somehow found me and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, get notifications of my uploads when I upload a video. If you got some time to kill, go back and watch some of my older videos. Go check out my playlist for abandoned mansions, abandoned churches, time capsule houses, all that kind of stuff. And then stay tuned for all the great content that I got to come. That's it, guys. I got more things to do, more places to see. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace. Oh, guys, one more thing. If you want to rock a Freaktography hoodie, like the one I'm wearing right now, it says Freaktography on the front. 
And what is up, guys, on the back? Hit the link in the video description for my merch store. Get yourself a free photography hoodie, t-shirt, tank top, coffee mug, whatever you guys want. We got it. Free photography logo. What is up, guys, for men, women, and kids. Can't forget to pimp my merch, guys, right?